everybody, this is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Today we're talking spaghetti squash and I have some serving ideas for you and also some suggested flavor combinations. So this should help you out if you're looking for something a little bit different to do with some spaghetti squash and you're not quite sure which way to go with it. First of all, cook spaghetti squash and use them as if they were spaghetti, okay? No, they're not exactly like spaghetti. It is squash. It does not have the same flavor as wheat spaghetti or any type of spaghetti for that matter. It tastes like squash. But the strands are neat and they can be used in any dish where you would typically use spaghetti, okay? It's only limited to your imagination. One decorative way to serve it is to um, fix it up like you would your favorite spaghetti, top it with marinara, meatballs, with cheese, whatever you like to have with your spaghetti, and serve it in the reserved half shells of the cooked spaghetti squash. And that makes for a fun and decorative way to serve it. How about combining the spaghetti squash strands with some stir-fried vegetables and flavor it up that way? That sounds like a really good, easy combination too. How about topping the strands of the spaghetti squash with your favorite pesto? That would be something different and then you can even sprinkle it with a little bit of your favorite cheese, a cheese that was in the pesto or parmesan, something like that. How about sauteing a little garlic in some butter or olive oil, maybe even add some onions in there, and then stir in the cooked spaghetti squash strands until they're heated, and then remove them to a serving platter and maybe throw on some uh, a generous sprinkling of your, your Parmesan cheese or whatever favorite cheese you might have. That would be almost like a garlic pasta, but you're using garlic spaghetti squash strands and it would be actually good that way. How about taking those strands, warming them up in some olive oil or butter and then adding in some basil, parsley, and chives. Maybe a little bit of garlic would be good in there as well. Sprinkle a little salt and pepper on there, top them with some pars uh, Parmesan cheese if you want, or even sprinkle a little bit of fresh lemon juice over there and that will brighten it up and really make it good. How about it tossing a little bit of steamed broccoli in some olive oil and then your spaghetti squash strands in there. Top that with maybe a little bit of lemon pepper and again if you want to use some cheese, cheese would be good on there. How about putting your spaghetti squash strands in an oven proof baking dish, topping it with tomato sauce and your favorite pizza toppings. Add a little bit of oregano and a little bit of mozzarella cheese and throw it in the oven at 400 degrees until that cheese is hot and bubbly and you'll have some spaghetti squash pizza that way. If you have a favorite casserole where you like to use pasta, you could use spaghetti squash strands in place of the pasta and it would be a, just a nice alternative. Now I have some suggested flavor combinations here that really sound good and something different, a little bit of something to experiment with. And I do have this information in the description box below so you don't need to worry about writing everything down and stopping the video. How about combining spaghetti squash strands with balsamic vinegar and kidney beans? Oh, that's a little different. How about combining it with basil and garlic? How about basil and tomatoes with your spaghetti squash? How about spaghetti squash with brown butter and hazelnuts? Now doesn't that sound like an interesting twist? How about garlic and tomatoes with your spaghetti squash? And again, like our pizza, how about some mozzarella cheese and some tomatoes on there? And you could even throw a little bit of basil or an oregano, something like that. Oregano would make it taste like pizza. And how about combining spaghetti squash strands with mushrooms and onions? Uh, that sounds really good. Top that with a little bit of olive oil. And again, if you like some cheese or some other veggies, throw that in there too. It would be really good. So I do hope that these quick suggestions give you some ideas on what to do with the spaghetti squash that you have or that you intend to buy and you want to try something a little different. Let me know what you like to do with spaghetti squash down there in the comments section below. This is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. I hope this helps. Bye for now.